Book high. So first of all, I just wanted to say, I don't understand how far you got into the game, but here's my dude, level 70. You can see down here, the Paragon level, 770. What's cool I found out is that there's no limit to the Paragon level, which is what you level when you hit the level 70 endgame cap. Um, so you probably played part of the campaign, did enjoy it because you were a um, witch doctor. But I've played only Wizard so far, but you can be several other things, including Necromancer now, it's in the new patch. So, campaign, you play the story, it's fairly average I guess, uh, and you can change the difficulty during the story to make it more challenging or easy just to get through it. But once you finish the campaign, you jump straight into adventure game. Uh, adventure, so 1% of the game I've played has been campaign, and 98% has been adventure. And then there's also Challenge Rift, which just gives hectic rewards once a week. Um, so pretty much everything we're going to be talking about is adventure. First of all, we'll change it to public game. Remember I told you I didn't have anyone play with me until I hit level 70. The reason is because every single difficulty and every single game mode, you can see this five here, creates its own private kind of... Uh, game that if someone else wanted to join they'd have to match those exact settings to randomly get the computers to join you up. Uh, so to find other players you literally there's no other way that I've found you have to just here there's one other player on the oceanic server who's playing bounties at the maximum difficulty. There's nine play people playing Rift so if I said join game I'd join them. So that's the reason I explained that um, I didn't play with anyone at all in the first like week that I had Diablo 3. The other thing is each difficulty, the max uh, difficulty is Torment 13. Um, oh, the most important thing about that is the reward. So over here we've got extra gold, extra stuff. Most importantly is all the legendary drop rate. So you get the highest drop rate of legendaries, which is what you want at Torment 13. It's the hardest difficulty, so it's harder to kill mobs there. So you slowly work your way up. One thing I like about Diablo 3 the most is um, it's very linear. So in normal, you get everything's easy and you get drops. Uh, and if you jump in a hard and you've pretty much conquered normal difficulty, then hard becomes easier, then expert becomes easy, then master becomes easy. Then I'm up here and there, all the way up here at the hardest difficulty. Um, to unlock harder difficulties, you do greater rifts, uh, which is what I'm going to be showing you, and uh, we'll be doing it really, really fast. I kept saying how fast the gameplay was, so uh, let's pretty much jump straight into it. We're going to do it privately so we don't interfere with anyone else's game, because uh, you can only have one rift at a time, so maximum difficulty, uh, private game, let's go. My character is a wizard. He's pretty much like 90% fully geared, but the other thing I like about this game and why there's an unlimited Paragon level is that you can linearly increase how good your gear is. A good example is here, have a look at my helm. You can see I've got the full set of beards, but you can see intelligence, vitality, life, sure, but then there's 360 intelligence. This Cal de Sands Despair, rank 72. Um, so I upgraded that to level 72, as well as this chest, which is 72, these pants, which are 85, these pants, which are 74. And the reason I only did it to 70s, because that's the kind of difficulty where I plateau and it becomes a little bit more challenging. But once every single piece of gear, like this weapon, isn't upgraded at all, it doesn't have that Calder Sands um, intelligence on it, and intelligence just increases how much damage you do. We can see here... Damage increased by intelligence, 1300%, 13,000%. Um, so pretty much, in a nutshell, what you do when you hit end game, you can farm materials, sure, you can do what's called bounties everywhere on the map, there's these exclamation marks. So every waypoint's unlocked, every boss is uh, accessible, it's got nothing to do with the story, you just go and kill these things, and they give you these rewards. Uh, which is pretty much mats to make gear and stuff like that. Um, 
what I've got here, see this little gem here, it's 18. For every greater rift, which is what we're going to do now, which is like a dungeon, for every greater rift or dungeon that you do, you can upgrade a gem by 5. It's the gem that I got up to level 70, and it's the gem that I put into my gear to make it Caldasan's Despair 72. Another gem 72, another gem 85, another gem 74, another gem 70, and this is just increasing my damage so I can do a harder, greater rift. And I've made it all the way up to 100, or oh, 97, not quite 100. 100 is too hard. But if I farm the lower levels, get this little gem up to a higher level, and upgrade my gear, as well as I'm waiting for, you can see this chest is ancient armor, ancient set chest armor, whereas this is just set gloves. So this chest is like, I don't know, 50% better than something that's the default, just base level. So, um, I need more things to drop, more gear, which you get every time you kill a mob. And uh, I'm upgrading gems, which I'll upgrade my ancient gear, and then I'll be able to do a harder difficulty, and then pretty much everything that's rank 70, uh, upgraded to rank 70, you can upgrade it to 150, which I think is the max, but it might not even be the max. There might not be a max, which is why I've seen people who are Paragon level 3000, and I'm only 770. 770 is pretty good. Uh, so, Great Rifts, let's go. Because that gem is level 18, I have to do a Great Rift that's at least, I'm not good at math, 15 levels higher than the gem to have a 100% chance to upgrade it. Okay, let's go. Kill everything. Got to be really quick. So I explained before. Um, I made a video, and the file size was just so ridiculously big. So I've really lowered the video quality, so that hopefully, despite this longer duration, because I explained a lot more. Oh yeah, I am uh, able to show this to you. Uh, so greater rifts are a dungeon where there's unlimited levels are uh, randomly generated so it could be anything we've got this purple bar over here which I'm trying to fill and if I fill it within a 15 minute period then I can upgrade my gem at the end if I do not um, finish the dungeon within the 5 uh, 15 minute period I cannot upgrade my gem and I failed the dungeon even though you can play it um, after the 15 minute time there's just no reward uh, so you just can't jump into the hardest possible difficulty and take your time these are challenging rifts I'm only on level 35 at the moment um, one thing I should have pointed out is the the torment difficulty is explained next to the Great Rift difficulty. The first thing I showed you in this video was how there was 13 different difficulties. Torment 13 is the hardest difficulty that you can set. But that's like rank um, Rift difficulty 70. But like I said, you can go up to level uh, Rift difficulty 100. Um, and it just gets even harder than the Torment difficulty of 13. Just gonna try to be a little bit faster. The whole thing about this is, could you have to do it um, multiple times to upgrade the gem, to upgrade your gear, you want to be doing it fast. So if you're doing it in two minutes, that's pretty good. These are lower rank, only 35 is very easy. That's why everything's dying one shot. because the gem I'm upgrading is such low rank. Go, 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 go faster. I'm not sure if you played Wizard at all, but they go into Arch Archon mode. Archon. But then it only lasts so long and you come back out of it. Ah, so here's the little gem. 100% chance to upgrade it because the rank of this dungeon was 35 I think and this one's more than 15 levels lower than it 
So now that it's level 23, the next greater rift I'm going to open immediately. So close that one, get the loots. Greater rift closes, greater rift opens. Now we do 45 levels high to keep that 100% chance to upgrade. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. So killing everything, everything's just fractionally. I sh forgot to point out the um, torment difficulties that were next to the ranks of the difficulties for the great rifts. It is okay. Just try to really, really quickly kill everything. These purple blobs that drop off the rare elites when you kill them. That's what's uh, most worthwhile getting. You can kill all the mobs, but they don't give very much uh, progress towards the purple bar. Yeah, I'm lost. Go, go, go faster. Oh, the doors! So, pretty much the intention of this was to show you really fast gameplay. It's a little bit slower than I'd hoped, just because... Uh, I guess I'm not concentrating very well. Um, you watch and go, Oh wow, that's cool! I want to play those games! Maybe after this one I'll join a game with other people. And they'll probably be doing Great Rift difficulty of 100, which I can't solo, but with other people, especially if there's someone who's, you know, Paragon level 1500 or 3000, whatever. They've got so much more primary stat, like strength or dexterity or intellect, that their damage is just, you know, linearly greater than mine, so if they're level 3000, you know four times greater than mine, or whatever. <sighs> almost finished, almost finished. So every level's random. You never know what's going to be on the other side, or what mob. Some uh, levels are really wide open, with really densely packed uh, bad guys, and so you just wash away the enemy so quick, and it's really, really incredibly satisfying. And others have really uh, few numbers, and everyone's really tough, and you're just like, ugh. I was saying in the last video that I had to get rid of that. I only do uh, lightning damage, so lightning damage resistant elites, which is all you can kill at the harder ranks, because you wouldn't bother with lobies, just mobs, because they have such huge health pool. Then, uh, it takes too long to kill them to be, and then they don't give you any purple stuff. So you only farm elites, and then you can only farm elites that are not um, lightning resistant. Hopefully, I've got enough room. Boop, 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 boop. Blood shards, I'll be back for you. I need them. So now we can have a 100% chance to upgrade the gem five more times. Yes. Um, yeah. We're getting items, so green items. They could be ancient and replace the gear that I'm wearing, which is what I need. But remember how I briefly showed you, each difficulty gives you a different amount of experience. Oh, I handed that in before I got the blood shards off the ground, but that's okay. Um, so the harder each difficulty, and I'll just show you really quick. Greater Rift, see Torment 9, so that's fairly easy, 10, 11, 12, 13, so level 60 Rift is the equivalent of the difficulty of the game I'm in, you can see Torment 13 at the top there, level 70, so that's meaningless. Uh, so every mob everywhere in the world uh, is as hard as a Greater Rift level 60 mob, but even though 13th is the hardest difficulty the world can be, the greater rifts just keep going to unlimited. The top of the charts wizard rank that uh, or greater rift challenge that someone soloed is 120. So they must be like Paragon 4500, or their gear is absolutely like optimized. 
and uh, you can have uh, you start off with blue and grey and yellow gear which is garbage which is why just get rid of it straight up it's garbage but then you end up with ancient or legendary gear sure but oh yeah enchanting is going to be another thing I'll show you later that's all legendary 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 it's crap and that's a good ring good cooldown reduction uh, witch doctor gear don't need it legendary wow not even one single piece of ancient but ancient keys um, fairly common and really good especially if you get the stuff you want but then you can get primal ancient gear which is super duper rare you can see it's red border which is unlike all the rest where all the stats are perfect so the top damage top intellect top vitality top reduce all resource costs it's all just optimized you can even change you can enchant something to change it to be something that you want like instead of resource costs change it to cooldown reduction which I need so I can stay in Archon form for as long as possible because like I said it's got a cooldown you're only in for 20 seconds and then there's a cooldown uh, so the more cooldown reduction uh, the more I can stay in Archon form um, the other thing is the blood you can't see down here because um, that's where my face is but the blood shards which I've maxed out it's a currency to buy, it's like gambling, and I need an ancient bracer, but didn't get it this time. Uh, so I think pretty much that's everything. I'm just going to join a really, really hard. I want to keep that, and I'll explain why another time. And keep that. You can see all the rings of the zodiac I've got. I haven't had time to look at them, so I'm just holding on to them for now. All the stuff that I need to enchant down here. Uh, those are the braces I'm trying to get ancient version of. Uh, so let's join someone else. And hopefully it'll be super fast paced, and super hectic hard and crazy difficulty. It's five people now. So if I click join, I shouldn't make a new game. I should join theirs because I found that there's five people on Oceanic server. There's only a maximum of four players, so that's me, that's another guy. So there's other three people, must be in their own game if three. Ah, uh, where is he? What is he doing? He's here, there he is, he's standing around. Hey, what are you doing? Lame. Alright. I think he's AFK. He doesn't have a. I don't know what he's not. Similar rank to me. Oh well, I'm just gonna take off without him. So I guess you're pretty bored of me just one-shotting everything. So let's really crank up the difficulty. Oh, to a 77. Chew up all my gold. <laughs> let's go. Oh yeah, he has to say he's coming or not. I think he gets 20 seconds, so bear with me. <laughs> so, every mob is roughly hard to kill. If I was doing these bounties, uh, the mobs are annoyingly difficult to kill because you've got to do 5 missions in every act. So 25 missions to get the entire game's rewards. Uh, this guy's not coming, so I'm going to solo a level 77 rift. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, the mobs, they're barely worth killing. So what I do, my build, like I said, it's an Archon build. We only kill elites, but these guys are electrified, so they're resistant to electricity, which is terrible. When my Archon form ends, I change into a different form that I do different AoE damage that actually does more damage than Archon form, but it's because I keep the stacks of damage that I earn during Archon form that makes me do so much damage outside of Archon form. It's a little bit confusing, but I do nothing at, in my normal form, then I enter Archon form, and it increases the damage I do once I leave Archon form. So I do a little bit more in Archon form, which I am now, 
I get this mad laser. You can see the stacks down here, they go up every single time someone dies or every single time I attack. Bam, bam, bam. We only want to kill the rare relics now. Just watch this AOE like crazy. Boom. Yeah, everyone's dying. I've got this magic ring, which if my electricity damage, which is all I do, stuns someone, they take uh, 13,000 times more damage. Oh, it's just not worth killing these mobs. But you can see my progress is actually pretty good, even though I'm skipping a lot. Because I can efficiently, and without dying, get right on these guys. The gold guy is the one who drops the purple stuff, so... Here we go. Got all the goods. Don't want to touch that laser or the poison. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. He's not gonna drop anything, because he's just a minion. I can't really teleport very fast in my normal form, so I have to change an Archon just for mobility. So these guys are blue. They're like just small minions, normally a pack of three, and they drop three purple globes if I kill the right one, the last one. Oh, just die. Everybody's resistant to electricity, which is why it's taking so long. Move! You can see instead of just washing away everybody, um, you just have to be a little bit more strategic. I suppose I'm strong enough now that a level 77 rift, um, nobody's one-shotting me, which is pretty good. But my gear, I'm not sure if I said it, it's all my... Oh, now I just spoke too soon. <laughs> It's optimized so that I take incredibly reduced damage. Like one of my items reduces my damage by 80%. One of my moves reduces my damage by 60%. One of my uh, being in Archon form reduces my damage taken by like 80%. Increases my armor by 150%, which reduces physical damage by 80%. So instead of I've only got 1 million health, every time one of these guys hits me, it does about a billion health. I mean, a billion damage. But, um,. Because I've got so many abilities that pull on top of each other and all this damage resistance resistance stacking. Here we go. It's the goldy shine. Oh, just watch him. Yeah. Boom. Oh, those explosions will kill me. I'll jump back in there and I picked everything up. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of damage optimization, but also defensive optimized. Yeah, fatty. He's not... Um, resistant to electricity, which is why my Archon form can kill him. I don't have to build up stacks and then go back into my other form. Oof. Archon is not the highest damaging build in the game. Apparently, f being a, a, f a fire, you wear like tail rashes and some fire gear, and that's the best. But, um,. I started with this and I've just been optimizing it and the season's almost over so I'm not learning how to do a whole nother build just to progress further because then I'd have to do a thousand greater rifts to, to upgrade all my gear again with that Cathan's... what's it called? Cal de Sands Despair gear. Anyway bro, so this... I keep forgetting to skip mobs. This dungeon's almost over. Yeah, those explosions, they're like um, corpse explosion. When you kill a mob, they one-shot you so hard. We'll kill Mr. Yakman. Oh, he's electrified resistance to the only damage I do. But you notice how the health just doesn't move, and then once they're stunned, I have a 50% chance to stun with every attack. But my attack is only like one... Oh, gotta pay attention. I only attack 1.4 times per second. So every second that my laser's blasting them, although it does like a constant stream of damage, the potential to stun 
only procs every 1.4 seconds, if that makes sense. Which is different to when I'm out of Archon form. Because then I, um, I shoot individual bolts of electricity, like a machine gun, which have a much, much, much higher chance to stun. And so the monsters, they just melt very close to calling up the Rift boss. This will do it. These blue guys, these rare elites. So just watch him melt. Oh, yeah. If I can get my cursor on him. Oh, I'm not shooting at him. No, my cursor was clicked on him. Melt them! One more. There we go. Rift Guardian's over here. He's a big fat dude. Oh, he's got a lot of damage. So we just watch the Archon stacks get up a bit higher. I'm not sure what that green aura is, but it doesn't look good. But I don't take much damage in this form. But once I change out, I take heaps of damage in this form. So I just want to. Boom! Watch him fucking melt! Yes! <sighs> anyway, so that's a more challenging rift. The hardest one I've done is level 85. I, I haven't been able to do a level 86 rift. Shut up. So now I'll pop the gem back in there. I could even upgrade the ones I'm wearing. These are the ones I'm wearing. 6% chance. Ooh, yeah, lucky. 30%. Oh, I failed. Come on. Uh, it's a waste. Anyway, so I got more blood coins from that. Got more potential gear that's going to replace what I'm wearing. Never know. Uh, so that's it. It's a shame that guy was AFK and he didn't want to join because um, we could have even done a harder one or we could have got through it a lot faster by going in different directions and culling mobs. So I need to... Anyway... Oh look, see, that's like my pants, but my pants are already a ancient, so forget them, forget that. And this is also, yeah, but I'm already wearing ancient, so even though that's the set I'm wearing, but that's good drop chances. Um, that's it. Join me, bro. Join me, bro. Just some finishing words, what can I say? More about the bounties, I don't know. I suppose the enchanting I'll quickly tell you about. So I'll show you really quickly. Observe this legendary two-hand sword. The only thing that's relevant is that its orange writing says your melee attacks throw a piercing axe, sure, but the little diamond next to it, it's, it's black, it's hollow. That means I haven't put it in my Herodric cube. There is a cube in this game just like there was in Diablo 2. You can see my equipped hand of woe, damage of explosive blast, the orange riding. It, its diamond is yellow and full. That means I've put it in the cube, I own it. So I don't own anything down here, all those little diamonds are empty. But everything else in my stash, I have some things like that. They don't have any orange riding, because they don't actually give you any magical, unique benefits, they've just got base stats. Here's the cube. What happens is you get the mats. These mats are from doing bounties. Remember I said you go to that place, you kill that boss or clear the caverns of frost, you kill every mob that's there and you tick off one of the things. Depending on the difficulty you can wash it out in 30 seconds or it'll be a bit tougher on torment difficulty 13 and then you get the rewards and the rewards are gear but also these mats, which when you put in the Herodric Cube, I've run out, and then you put in an item, uh, and you hit transmute, it'll go, <coughs> this one failed, but it'll, <coughs> and put that weapon into the cube. And these are all the weapons I've put into the cube. And I've got all the armor, I've got all the jewelry, but I do need a couple more weapons. So what's the relevance of putting things in the cube? Well, that orange writing, um, so forget about all the stats, just that orange writing, spirit walk lasts until your enemy is intact, whatever. Um, you can equip three things. One is a jewelry, so this is why I do so much damage. Enemies stunned with paralysis also take 14,000 weapon damage as lightning. So that's why I do so much damage with my lightning damage when someone's stunned. Until they're stunned, I do 14% less. Uh, 14,000% less. 
So that's the jewelry I've got to equip. Uh, my Archon stacks I keep when I'm no longer in Archon form, which is why I do damage, because Archon form every attack makes you do, um, like when your stacks are up to 100, you're doing a thousand times more damage. So when I'm in my human form, I still keep that Archon damage. And then uh, the move that I use, that's the machine gun. This weapon makes all my damage while I'm challenging it, do more damage. Um, so there, you get a, a weapon, armor, jewelry, orange riding, attaching to my gear so it's all to help. It, it, it all works together in combination. Plus I've got rings that make me take that 70% less damage. Uh, when I'm moving I take 50% less damage. Uh, each time I explode, I do more damage and take less damage. Uh, so yeah, all I need to get is a few more ancient things, or primalations, which is very very rare. Upgrade them with the gem that I showed you, which is what I'm doing in Greater Rifts. Um, and then I can do harder rifts and my paragon level go up. So paragon levels, each one, you put a, a point in to whatever you want. So um, whacking them into, you know, attack speed, cooldown reduction, critical chance, pretty much all these stats. Some of them only go up to 50, but intellect, which is damage and health, it can go up to infinity. So once I'm level 8 million, then I'll have so many stats and be able to do much higher um, rift difficulties. Anyway, thanks for watching, bro. I hope the file size of this is less than a gig. But, uh, yeah, play with me. Thank you very much. Me, 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 me.